This is happening. I'm doing a vlog in my car. It's been a minute since I actually have done one of these things. Um, but I thought this is a ridiculously boring day, so why not make it better by vlogging about it so people can see the mundaneness of my life right now. Driving to Burbank to get a plate for my tripod. Yes. That's what I'm doing right now. And it's it's about 2 p.m. I was trying to get out, get out of the house like in the morning so I'd avoid all this traffic, but you know, life called. Uh, sometimes I have auditions during the day. It's exciting and shoots. And other days, you're just like a potted plant sitting at home trying to uh, figure out how to keep busy and how to move forward so wow hope <laughs> I wonder how many viewers I've already lost so that's where I live Sunset Boulevard one of my friends said something to me interesting uh, she was like oh yeah she lives in Florida she's like oh yeah you know I consider this my home now I've been in LA like 14 years I still don't consider LA my home I just feel like I left New Hampshire and I'm still checking it out for whatever reason I didn't happen to be staying but like time goes by so fast in the news it's trending right now it was an acting coach named Stan Kirsch he just hung himself and it was weird to me because that was the last acting coach I went to like I never studied with him but I met with him when I was looking for for acting classes and uh, he was a cool guy I thought prayers to his family and that's it. I've been trying to really just do things that I enjoy doing. And one of those things is writing. I wrote my first blog post in a while. It's on my Instagram or my, my website, thinktire.com. And one of the few things which I actually gave up on, and I rarely give up on things, was I started writing a book when I was like 23. I worked. I was working at a &E Television, and I would write these. Like every time someone got hired at a and &E, like the company would send out these these emails like congratulations to Jim for joining and have like a, their bio so I would respond to uh, I would privately email whoever got hired and then write some ridiculous welcome email and I was gonna make a book out of this right and it was about how to keep yourself entertained as a you know as like a 20 something year old in your first job so I did that for like six months and then so many complained about me like I took the joke too far. I was like 20 something, obviously. And I had to go meet with like the head of A&E in New York. Like they called me, or the head of HR. Like I had to go, and they were like, why? And they like tracked my email, my emails, and they were like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, what are you doing at work all day? I just scrapped the book. I didn't even publish it. And I still, I, I think I still have like the first 50 pages in my drawer somewhere. But um, yeah, that was just, I just remember that and it sticks out because it really bugged me that I quit that thing. I, I hate starting something and not finishing. So now whenever I start something, I have to finish it. So I think we're in like the midst of 2020, right? January. I didn't make any resolutions, nor do I believe in that at all. Because I kind of think that how you live your life day to day is how you're gonna be. I don't think one day of the life's gonna, it's indicative of of the rest of the year, right? You're either that person or you're not. You're gonna have goals and follow them through or you're not. A friend of mine asked me if I wanted to help make a feature with him and start putting the groundwork and I said I'd have to get back to him. Even if you have all the money in the world, it's incredibly hard making things. It's, it takes up, it takes up life from you and energy. But I do like the fact of just creating things and I think sometimes Maybe that's what I was here to do, just keep outputting content. Look at this guy right here, by the way. Wants to get in here. It's a huge <laughs> Chevy Tahoe, just wants to get right in. It blows my mind that I'm even a performer sometimes because when I was growing up, I had like this speech impediment. My mom says this because we spoke Tulu. I spoke Tulu as a kid and I couldn't, I learned English afterwards and some words were just different but I was I was I'm thoroughly convinced I had a speech impediment because I could not 
say words properly. One time in high school, I was, uh, you know, like, you'd like read out loud. And uh, this was during high school. And it was my turn to read and I could barely get through the words, the sentences, because I was so self-conscious. I mean, that's what these childhood things do to you. They just s stick on you like residue and it can affect every waking moment of your life if you don't take care of it. So the store right here, people. Wow. Draco Broadcast. They have their own parking lot. Look at this. Very busy. Well, I made it. About to go on Draco Broadcast. Get my piece. Let's see how this works out. That was it. I ended up buying this tripod piece. Yeah, this one thing I drove all the way to Burbank, but hopefully it's worth it. There's like one dude in there for that entire warehouse. I'm sure this vlog's gonna go viral. Take care.